Hey guys, we got a visitor today. Oh, a visitor? Who is it? Come on in, Lucina. Hello, uh, pardon the intrusion. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, Princess Lucina. It's lovely to make your acquaintance. Likewise, it's nice to be able to speak with you off the battlefield for once. Oh, please, just keep rubbing it in, why don't ya? I beg your pardon? I don't believe we've met before. Never mind Veridi. She's not actually playable in this game. But doesn't Veridi have a me costume at least? Yes, I do. At least. Oh, now I feel bad. It's okay, Pet. You didn't mean any harm. Honestly, I think it's comforting to have a thoughtful companion like you. Aw, oh, you're too kind, Lucina. And I appreciate getting to fight alongside you in battle. Oh, for the love of me, would you two just make out already? The show has begun, and I still have to get this barf out of my system. So, get your butts on screen, now! Bye. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going. going. So, Lucina. Hades? Your father says hello, by the way. You know, the one from your timeline. Uh... That's... reassuring. And what of my mother? You know, I'm not sure I remember who your mother was. But, given all the possibilities, I can assure you with certainty that she was a remarkable woman. <laughs> See you in a few minutes for the main event, darling. Nice chatting with you. Quite. Oh, and before I forget, for later, I bought a new espresso machine the other day, and I was wondering if... Coffee later? Don't push it. Now this is where the fun begins. Well, if it isn't Princess Toadstool, the record-holding princess of the Mushroom Kingdom for lowest days in office. Princess Toadstool? Don't you mean Peach? In this case, you're both correct. It must be royally confusing for those who grew up in the early 80s. Or with Disco, for that matter. But yes, same person, just with two different aliases. Oh man! It's like she's a secret agent or something! Getting back to the topic at hand, I will be honest with you, Pity. Princess Peach, as you like to call her, is very formidable. Trust me. I've seen her in combat, and she can really work that rump of hers. I have to give her credit. She's very strategic with her physical attacks. Not to mention she'll pelt you with vegetables from a distance. She's rather versatile. I think you cleared this up in your sequence, O oh Goddess of Light. No need to be a broken record. Indeed, in your sequence you never mentioned the eloquent taste of Princess Peach. You could just eat her up and get a healthy amount of vitamin C along the way. Ugh, Hades, please don't say things like that in front of Pitt. Or me, or us. I don't think anyone wants to hear it. Oh, but I have so much more to say. I was just about to get into how peaches are said to greatly resemble. Hades, please stop talking. Oh, I suppose you don't know who Princess Rosalina is, Hades. Allow me to introduce you. Oh, for your sake, Palutena, how many princesses are there in this plumber's universe? For the record, I am aware of her. I just didn't care to mention Princess number 210. I'd sooner talk about that beady-eyed plush toy that follows her. Care to elaborate? It's quite fascinating, really. The Lumas sacrificed themselves in order to protect their ruler, Rosalina. They look up to her as their mother, and they'll put her needs before theirs. It's quite fun counting the many Lumas that take their own lives to protect such a beauty queen. You really know how to lighten up the mood, don't you, Hades? It's a feature, darling. Might I add that Luma Souls make for a wonderful breakfast cereal? 
It's like they each have their own unique flavor depending on the color. I, I don't think I want to hear any more of this story. Well, look who's the party trooper now, Kitty. I think we need to have a viewer's discretion warning from here on out. Hey, Lucina! Just to let you know, even if we're friends, I'm not going easy on you! Well, good, because I wasn't gonna go easy on you either, Pit. For the love of me, either fight and kill each other, or I'm changing the channel! Sitting in a tree. K I S S, -S I N G. Ha ha, very mature, Verini. All things considered, Pit, you have spent a lot of time with Lucina. I wouldn't be surprised if you've developed a crush. Ooh. Guys, not in front of Lucina! To be fair, Pit, I do admire your innocence and spontaneity. In fact, I find it rather charming. Well, I, uh, I do like to wing it when all else fails. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Pet. Let's put the banter aside. Give it all you've got. I'm right there with you, Lucina, and may the best fighter win. So, you think Loverboy's gonna win this one? Oh, I don't doubt Pit's capability to win. It's a matter of if he'll put aside his feelings for victory. In other words, he's screwed. We'll see. <laughs> Well, I am glad that's over. Just the thought of love and feelings makes me feel gross. Ironic. Anywho, thank you for bearing with us between Pity and Lucy's lovey-dovey stuff in today's episode. You know the drill, my lovely ducklings. Hit those like and subscribe buttons to support me, your one and only Hades. Anywho, who should we talk about next time? Tell me in the comments, and I'll decide if I care or not to talk about them. Wow me, honeys, and goodbye until next time.